performance. This is what Jim would do. Remember I was telling you we would separate out the performance? Mm -hmm. So the actors don't wait around for this. And now he, he could get the shot of them jumping down. So you can walk up to them. Nice and solid, because you're going to the space much more quickly than you How did they get that captured? Oh, that's so cool. Jumping down. That was pre-recorded, right? Or pre-captured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre-rendered. It's a stitch motion. Then you or, have so they jump. Wow. So it's mechanical, and then that does. It's an inverse biokinematic solve. So there is a there is a test at the end. <laughs> All right. So, but basically, what it's doing is, it's although it's capturing surface data, it's resolving it to a skeleton. And once you have a skeleton kinematics, now you can manipulate that skeleton. You can take it and make it do anything else. It has meaning. You can so this is the, 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 the you know back in the day when we looked at this in 2005, there was a system out there that claimed to be mathematically more 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 accurate than the giant system, but ultimately it gave you surface data. Surface data is great, but it really isn't what we're interested in. We're interested in what's going on inside. Once you have the bones, once you have the skeleton, now you can manipulate it and apply it to a non-linear relationship. Like that, they're taller, they're skinnier. They're so long as you have the bones, then you can manipulate the skeleton. Um, this also does the muscle? Or? No, we do the muscle as a post-process. We have a whole back end. Uh, where this, we're, what you're seeing now is a jump forward, obviously, from the last time. We use a very basic skinning um, on, the, on the first time around. So basically, we go through a, a, a process of calibration where we give the actors something that they can work against. So the worst, in some ways, your biggest enemy is pantomime. You know, mm. pretended to be in a scene. Oh, it's just as an animator, as an animation director, it's the thing that kills you. And it's what makes fake effects look fake. I mean, because everything's fake, but fake effects can look real if you do them properly. If you <laughs> allow the actor to believe in the moment. You know, and again, I think that that's a really important thing for us was that believability. All right. So let's come back down. Oh, that was a near miss. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and then around the edge. Okay, so we'll have you coming out of All right, we're gonna pre look, we'll give you a mark. So this is very, very much the way it would work. You're gonna start here, you're gonna come around on a path like this, and you're gonna go up the line, all right? And literally we would have Maria, our first AD. Yeah. Which we, we'll, we'll have you play directly. Hello team. All right, here we go. Is that Richie? Yep. And action. Now, Andrew's pretending there's another actress with him. So, can you make me ten to one, Dan? Yeah. So, one of the one of the really powerful things about this as well. All right, and let's go again, Andrew. Go to go back to your mark. Basically, an exercise of manipulation. Everything else out here is an individual component that can be manipulated at any, at any point. So, the way we build it, we build the world for our best guess. Which one? Either both of them and scale them down, actually. Alright, nice. that's a little, little bigger. Nice. Okay, can you take the one on the left and, spl uh, uh, and split them apart? Oh, wow. Andrew, can you see them? You want to make your way between them? Wow, in real time. And around it. There you go. And up in the middle. There you go. Look at that. We have a winner. All right. So, we, if we were to shoot Andrew, we could pretend this is, let's say this is a crane now. All right. So, back to one, Andrew. Back to one. Same path, Andrew, between the bushes. Alright. Okay. You ready? Set. And action, Andrew. So 
So you can see I barely moved at all. But what we've done is basically we've displaced this in scale. So the whole world, this exists in a completely different scale to him. And you'll notice I also never point a camera at him. It's a really tricky thing for people to get used to. It. The people who are used to staying out of the eye line of the camera, you literally say, okay, this, albeit it's the camera, there's no lens. People will not walk, still anybody who's been on the set won't walk across. They're like they're afraid of coming up on screen. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Oh wow, this is not just any old, this is like a working theater. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome.